Bears on the brink of promotion at Hove. On a day in which Jonathan Trott scored what may be his last county century, Division 2 leaders Warwickshire closed their second day of action with a 216 run lead. Sussex arrived at Hove hoping that David Visa and Ben Brown could continue their sixth wicket partnership and narrow the margin between the sides. With the duo of Brown and Visa carrying Sussex's hopes, they didn't disappoint finding early boundaries to further agitate the Bears bowling attack. Wright was the man to put smiles on visiting faces as his ball stayed low and ripped out Visa's off stump. Lunch arrived at Hove with Brown still in the middle and Sussex at 3.11 for six. Brown's impressive knock came to a painful end after the break as on 99 his efforts off a Patel delivery was caught by Trot, ending his hopes of a century. The Sussex tail was now exposed and Patel claimed another wicket as Jordan swept the ball to side bottom at backward square leg to leave the hosts 317 for 8. Archer was out next and decided to swing away, his series of bombs to the boundary taking him past 1,000 first class runs for the season. The exciting Archer cameo was ended by Stone when he drew an edge that found its way to Sibley at slip. With Haynes unable to bat due to injury, Sussex were 343 all out. Warwickshire would enter the second innings with a 97 run lead. The Bears started their second innings with a bang, Rhodes finding the boundary at every opportunity. Rhodes was treating the Sussex bowlers with disdain. Briggs sent for six and four in back-to-back -back deliveries. No Warwickshire wickets fell before tea was called. The visitors heading in at 78 for no loss with a lead of 175. The hosts would need an inspired evening performance from their bowlers to stop the deficit getting out of hand before the close of play. The evening session followed the same pattern as the afternoon, Sibley now joining Rhodes in finding the boundary. Sibley's barrage of the boundary saw Warwickshire past 100, their lead now over 200 runs. The sides were taken off due to bad light and the umpires decided that no further play would be possible with the visitors at 141 for no loss. Warwickshire would head into the final day buoyant and barring a catastrophe would confirm their return to Division 1.